Uh, to look at reactions of oxides with water, let's look at the first two metals, sodium oxide and magnesium oxide. Sodium oxide, solid, plus H2O, will give you a base alkaline, which is sodium hydroxide, aqueous. Two of them, and also remember we can write it, and you should write it as ionic version. So 2Na plus plus 2OH minus aqueous. So basic in nature. Then next door neighbor magnesium and magnesium oxide solid plus H2O will give you the same reaction. Gives you magnesium hydroxide aqueous and slightly dissociate. So you have Mg2 plus aqueous plus 2OH minus aqueous. So these are basic. Now aluminum oxide should not and does not react with water. Plus H2O liquid, no reaction. And you should remember aluminum oxide is amphoteric. Now let's walk into non-metals, uh, then again uh, first member after aluminum is silicon, silicon dioxide or glass does not react with water although we are going to remember it as acidic. So with water no reaction. After that comes phosphorus and we want you to know P4O10 as one possible oxide. This plus H2O will give you phosphoric acid which you should be familiar with. H3PO4 as uh, aqueous and if you put four of this then P's are equal and six H2O that's good so phosphoric acid is produced it is acid but it's a weak acid now sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide, they both react with water, so sulfur dioxide plus H2O will give you a weak acid known as sulfurous acid, H2SO3 aqueous. Sulfurous acid, and it's weak. And it's also a gas that usually does precipitation with rainwater produces acid rain. Sulfur trioxide, the liquid one, plus H2O on other hand will give you strong acid, sulfuric acid. Gives you H2SO4 aqueous sulfuric acid. Uh, then if you cross that, you come to chlorines. So let's just do at least chlorine as uh, Cl2O7 solid plus H2O liquid. This will give you HClO4 which is a strong acid known as perchloric acid and it's strong and to balance it simply you need to put two in front of this and then, then everything is balanced uh, perchloric. Now one thing IV sometimes will challenge us is another gas, uh, nitrogen dioxide, which is also produced as a pollutant, same as uh, sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide produces acid rain. This plus H2O liquid will give you HNO3, nitric acid, which is strong, and will give you nitrous acid, which is weak, HNO2 aqueous. So nitric. Uh, once you have one less oxygen it's on, always known as us, nitrous acid. So non-metal oxides are acidic in nature. Uh, how can we prove it? Add it to water and produce your acid. So non-metal oxides or acidic.